morning. We are at a cave without a name natural preserve here in Texas and the point today is to explore and then camp here tonight. So happy to be in the woods you guys, finally. If you're new here, hi, I'm Maria and I just woke up. This is my dog Blue. And we're living in my Land Rover Defender as we're traveling the country doing all 50 states. And it is a blast. Oh. As you can see, we got in last night and we set up camp. So, here's what that looks like. Be right back, bud. Hi. Um, I get a camp for a couple nights? Yes. And what's your name, then? Maria. This one may be the most private one, so I'm gonna put you on number seven for okay. tonight. Okay. Take that road back there. You'll find it. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Ready to get to camp, kid? Come on, bub. The most private site in the world. Guess who finally found camping in Texas? This girl right here. Per my usual luck, I headed for Texas Hill Country in the middle of spring break, meaning everything is booked. And uh, I've been getting turned away. It's kind of been a struggle the last couple of days. I just went to, where did I just come from? Pedder. Nally's? Perdin... Perdinals. Per... I tried to camp there first and got turned away because they were at full capacity, which I was like, state parks have capacities? Crazy. I also moved Poe because we have neighbors and they're pretty close and they've got their entire family with them, so I figured, let me not bug everybody filming right next door. So we're in the back part of the site now. Let's set up camp. Bobby, remember this? Bobby, do you remember how to get up here? Oh my gosh, this dog speaks English. Okay, come on, up, up. <laughs> Good job. Good job, Bobby. <laughs> it's been so long since I've set up camp. How many months has it been? I love this scraping blue. That's beautiful. Blue's like, uh, I haven't been in a hammock since last summer in Idaho. <laughs> Dang, this is our first time truly camping with Poe. Like camp camp, you know? What do you think, pup? Nice.
I got caught up talking to my neighbors a little bit, so it's a little bit later now. Yeah. Huh? Came with a snorkel? Yeah. Bad ass. Shout out to Ben and... I want to say Brandon, but I feel like that's wrong. If you were the neighbors that I just met and you said you guys followed me, you guys were cool. Thank you for asking about Poe. They were super, super nice. Sun is setting now. It's time to uh, make a little bit of food. Although you already ate. You guys, check out what I got. Radiate. So this is a portable campfire. It's essentially like a huge candle. And you can cook on it. Which is like totally my vibe, right? Like... <laughs> No work involved. You guys know how I am with starting fires. It doesn't usually work out too well for me, so. Let's get this thing going and then go get some food to cook on it. Come on, fire. Okay, we're getting somewhere. All right, and we're working. We're moving and we're grooving. A portable campfire, that is genius. Why did I not know about this sooner? Like, this is such a Maria-type product for somebody who just cannot make fires. All right. Food time. Oh, wow, look at it. This thing is rolling. Smoked cheddar jalapeno summer sausage, which growing up in Michigan, we used to have summer sausage like all summer long. I'm sure everybody kind of does. So I feel at home. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut some up and roast it because you guys know me, I'm not a picky eater and I don't really feel like, honestly, I don't even really have the food to make a full dinner. So this is what we're working with. Life on the road, you know? Okay, look how perfect this is. I haven't even used it yet. It's in my little grill kit. Hey dad. Hey. Quick question. When I roast like summer sausage over the fire, do I take this paper thing off it on the outside? It's like a thick purple thing. See, it depends on whether it's a natural casing or not. I need to see what it looks like. All right, I'll send you a picture. Okay. Okay. Man, dads help with everything, don't they? My friend, are you supposed to eat this? It looks like it's like waxy. All right, well, while we wait for Bobby B to respond, Okay, my dad just texted back and said this needs to be pulled off and it's not normally cooked. Oh, it does come off. <laughs> oh, I can just hear my dad in the comments right now. I'm sure if this video is up, he's in the comments trolling me. Thanks, dad. Wait, what? He just said don't. This man is making no sense. Hello? Dad, I'm cooking this over a fire. Why can't I do that? We used to do this at the cottage all the time in the summer. Not with summer sausage. Yes, we did. No, summer sausage is already cooked sausage. I know, but we used to roast it over the fire, Dad. I, I don't think I don't think so. Yes, I would bet my life on it. I think you're thinking of something else. All right, Dad, well, I'll let you go. Thanks for teaching me how to be an adult. Okay, all right, love you, hon. Be careful. Yep, love you too. Bye. Bye. I love my dad. My dad said that we didn't make summer sausage over the fire when we were kids, but he's lying because I guarantee you my siblings would agree that we did it. Unless I'm absolutely psychotic and it was all a dream, but I'm pretty sure. Hello? Hey, 20 second question. When we were kids and we went up to the cottage in the summers, do you remember roasting summer sausage over the fire? Yeah. Okay, thank you, because I just got off the phone with Dad, and he said we never did that. Oh, we did that all the time. That's what That's I so said. <laughs> That's what I said. Thank you so much. Love you. Love you, too. Bye. Bye. Ha, Dad. The one thing that does suck is last night I was burning this <clears throat> Radiate portable campfire. This thing is amazing, by the way. Like, I highly recommend it for people like me who struggle making fires. But somebody came over last night and told me that there's a fire brand going on, so that was the uh, last time I could build a fire. So we can't have one tonight, but anyways, it's coffee time. As you can tell, your girl has no energy. You know what I'm saying? It's time to fix that. Black Rifle.
Yeah. Texas Freedom Fuel. I felt like Texas Freedom Fuel, this blend, uh, was pretty on par for the videos today. I love Black Rifle. So if you guys saw the ending of my last vlog, you saw me go into a Black Rifle coffee store, like their actual um, coffee shop, which I've never been to before. I've only ever bought um, coffee like from Cabela's. But my family and I have loved Black Rifle for years. So it was super cool to be able to go into the store itself. And when I tell you that was probably the best latte I've ever had, holy cow it was fire okay open oh <laughs> yes did you find a stick bub beautiful This dog. Wow, somebody's hyper today. Yeah, Bubby, show that stick what's up, boy. We're doubling up the caffeine today because I really feel like I need it. I need to get this energy up. <laughs> Coffee's done. Time to go to the visitor center. I'm running out of water. Well, like water for me, not water for Blue. So um, I'm pretty sure they have vending machines though. Fingers crossed. Let's throw away trash and go see what they uh, have up there. Are you ready, pup? I also want to ask them if they have hiking. <laughs> Thanks for waiting. Yeah, you're good. Um, when are the tours? What times? You look so familiar. Were you here yesterday? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have a 10:30 available. How many do you have? It's just me. Just you? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. We have 10:30, 11. Okay. Um, I'll do it tomorrow morning at 10:30. And then, um, ma'am, can you please make your decision? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind. He's my neighbor. Because I was a stranger. I'm like, what? Why are you smiling? Can't be funny. Uh, you're all good to go. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Come on, bud. Get your leash. Get your leash. All right, cave tour book tomorrow a.m. Topo Chico was there, which if you guys don't know is like top three of uh, best sparkling waters of all time. 
other contenders would be like liquid death. But she goes definitely top three though. So the fact that I just got four, I'm happy. Came back to camp really quick because I gotta put socks on so that Blue and I can go hike. Blue and I just ran into our camp neighbors and they said the trails that are behind the visitor center are super good. Also, breakfast of champions, you know what I'm saying? As I'm literally trying to be healthier too. Whatever, I'll have a salad for dinner, it'll cancel out. Bubby, you wanna go hike? Wanna go hike? Yeah. Socks on, they'll put you going hand. Blue's thriving. Oh my gosh, there's a cave down there. <laughs> Cute. Blue got stuck. All right, kid, let's help you get out of this. Help you problem solve. Get your leash. Come on. Get your leash. Pick up your leash. See? There you go. Sometimes Blue is a little bit too dependent on me. And I just want him to problem solve a little bit. Like, use your brain. You're the third smartest dog breed in the world. Let's use this intelligence, kid. Gets stuck on one rock and he's like, I can't move. Clearly. Good boy. Yeah, there you go. Got your leash. Let's go. Bubby, you're so cute. There you go. Maybe free. You hear him? Hey, bub. Let's not go chase the deer, yeah? Thank you. First order of business, if you're gonna have your dog off leash, make sure they have recall even when other animals are around. So even if there is prey drive, which every natural predator has, you don't have to worry about them taking off. Right, Pip? Pip? Pup. Hey, Blue, come. Good boy. Sit. Good job. Break. Where are you going, kid? Bub. Ah! Worms hanging off of the tree is great. I'm just realizing I'm like an hour into this hike and I have no fair spray or any way to protect myself. Oh, an overlook. overlooking treetops. Cool. Converse also were not the smartest choice for hiking. You gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Watch out for the cactus, bub. We started off here. We have so far completed this. And now we're taking it back this way. I just accidentally stepped on Blue's paw and spent like five minutes in tears over it. You guys ever do that? It's like, I didn't mean to. If you weren't on my heels all the time, maybe you wouldn't get stepped on, but still, I feel just as guilty. Hey, let's not jump off cliffs today. <laughs> let's keep the vet bills at bay. You're already prone. Come, see, he does this. He gets right on my heels and then gets mad when I step on him. Gotta love Aussies. Do you guys prefer sparkling water or still? Sparkling is the only right answer, by the way. So, just think about that before you comment. And if it is still, I want an argument as to why. You know? Come on, kid. Move it or lose it. And just like that, we're back. Did you think pup is solid hour and a half, huh? Yeah. 
Let's go get you dinner. Hold on, bub. Go ahead. Oh, hi, nice I'm to Tom. meet you. Nice to meet you, Maria. Hi. And that's Blue back there eating. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. All right. See you that's in the morning. So sweet. Yeah, I'll see you okay. in the morning. Thanks. Thank okay. you. Bye. Tom, the owner of the campground, is so nice. He's allowing me to go into the cave tomorrow without anybody there. So before all of the tours start, I'm getting up early to meet Tom, to go into the cave, which is cave without a name, and to see everything and be able to take pictures and take you guys along and get it all on video. How exciting is that? Oh my gosh. Anyway, safe to say I need to go to bed because I gotta get up early and take you guys into a cave, you know what I'm saying? But that won't be this video. That'll be next, the next video. Sorry to do that to you. You're going to want to make sure you tune into that one. See the cave stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's so sweet. He just came up to me and was like, I love what you're doing. If you want to go on a free tour tomorrow, we can just comp your tour. And you can just capture the cave the way that you want to with no one around to distract you. I was like, Tom, you are so sweet. And you must know I'm an introvert. You know what I mean? Man, it's so tough to sleep, like get into bed when Blue's already laying down. It's okay, Bubby. You don't have to get up. Look at all of this room this dog has. And he chooses right here. <laughs> Dang, Bubby, it's your world and we're all just living in it. Thanks for giving us the honor of living in the same time period as you, Pop. You're so sweet. Baby, are you kidding me right now? This baby, oh my goodness. <laughs> Takes up the entire bed, but it's worth it. I'm so excited for this cave tour tomorrow. And the fact that I get to go alone and be able to capture everything that I want to and not be rushed, this is crazy. I really do need to get to bed though. No, Bubby, don't leave me. Okay. Cool. Thank you for staying, Pop. Blue's been doing this thing recently where he goes to the front seat to sleep, and I don't understand why. It's like, you have the entire bed. Yeah, I'm talking about you, child. It's like I just want him to stay back here. Bubby, I literally switched my sleeping orientation so you would have more room. You know what I mean? Like, that's... A it's all you, child. Just get comfy. Take a load off. Thanks for tuning in to watch this truck camp in Texas Hill Country. I really love this part of Texas, like the nature, the trees, the hills. It's it's more my steez. Dallas is cool and Austin is really cool too, but I'm just not a city girl, you know? Like this, the woods, pfft. this is my vibe, so I'm happy to be out here. I'm happy to be able to open the door in the morning and let blue out. And just be like, go be free, you're in the woods. Thanks for tuning in to another episode, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.